my short-term goals, I'm doing everything in threes today. Number one, I'm excited to get in front of this team. I'm excited to get in front of, I'm gonna see a couple of our um, signees incoming recruits this weekend. I want them, and I think they do, but I want them to understand the history of, of Iowa State wrestling just like I kind of explained it. I want them to understand the history here and the, the, the fact that we want to be great, and great means that we win titles. We win titles as individuals, we win titles as teams. Um, the second thing, short-term goals, is I, and, and we're gonna get right on this tonight from what I understand in Ankeny, but it's very important to get the fan base and the alumni involved, very important. So if you're watching and you're alumni, we need you to get out. All right, I'm going to deputize all of you because we, we can't do this alone. I didn't do at Virginia Tech. I didn't do it alone. Uh, I was at two previous high schools. I didn't do it alone. It took a lot of people. And so we need the cycle nation. The fact that I recognize that the strength of the cycle nation 25, 30 years ago popped back into my head. And I know we've got to get everybody on board. We've got to get people in Hilton, even when we're not going to be very good maybe right away. Who knows? But we need people filling up Hilton Coliseum. We need people going to the NCAA tournament. We need people joining the booster clubs. We need people involved. So that's the second thing my short-term goal is. And third is, this is my disclaimer here, so when you all start getting mad at me and things don't go uh, the, the right way, is we have to understand patience a little bit. Division I wrestling is a different game than it was 12 and 13 years ago. The advent of the regional training centers potentially makes the haves and the have-nots get bigger. And so we have to understand the culture and we have to understand that uh, we've got to put systems in place that allow us to compete with the Penn States, the Iowas, and Oklahoma States of the world. That's going to take a little bit of time. And that's kind of a save my butt clause too. So if we get beaten a couple dual meets we're not supposed to get beaten, in, um, you got to give me a little love in that respect. Uh, my mother, who's probably watching, and, and my wife, uh, when I put the word patience with me, it doesn't really work or fit. So I'm going to have to read my notes probably every couple months. But uh, uh, I ask you that as well. Lastly, my long-term goals, three of them again. I'm in threes. I work in threes today. Coaches were simple. I can't get past three much. But uh, we obviously want to uh, graduate great young men every year. I always say my job's simple. My job is to graduate great young men, and to develop national champions. And so we've got to graduate great young men every year. Academics are important. If you're going to come to Virginia Tech and you're a recruit out there, academics are important. Most of you, if you're listening to me, are, your careers are going to be over at 23 years old. So that degree is important. It's very important. Secondly, we want to develop NCAA championship individuals. We want to, develop, we want to win team titles. And we want to provide world and Olympic opportunities for those that want to do that. That's the benefit of putting in a cycle and regional training center. So we want to be a one-stop shop in terms of wrestling. We want guys, we want the best. We're not only going to recruit the best wrestlers in the nation, we want to recruit some of the best postgraduates in the nation and make Ames, Iowa their home to train. So when they go to the world championships or they go to, to international events, uh, they can have that cyclone stamp on them somewhere. I think it's great advertising. And then lastly, long-term goals, I think I can say this because the newspapers already wrote about it, is it's okay to say we want to beat Iowa, isn't it? All right? Uh, I think there's nothing wrong with that for two reasons. Number one, it's fun. All right? It's a lot of fun. And number two, it's a benchmark. I mean, let's face it. I was pretty darn good. And I don't see him getting any worse. So if we're competing at that level, we're in the hunt. And I know everybody wants to kind of stir up the brand's dresser a pot. And uh, I think everybody's done that pretty well. If you heard me last year about this time, I got a little crazy on the internet and uh, went a little nuts and said some things I probably shouldn't have said. But I, I'm kind of one of those guys that calls it like I see it. But I can tell you I respect the heck out of Tom and Terry brands. I know their work ethic. I know their toughness. I know what they're selling there. So when you know what the competition's doing, you just got to get ready for it. So the opportunity to to compete with Iowa and to pack Hilton Coliseum when we've got black and gold and we've got cardinal and gold is exciting to me. 
and that's got to happen fast. I'm going to throw the word patience out there, right? That's got to happen fast. So uh, 